Hello and welcome to Growing Through It, your go-to podcast for real leadership stories. I'm your host, Jen Arnold. In every episode, you'll hear straight talk from leaders who face their own challenges. We'll dive into those whoops moments and the insights that followed. This podcast is about the lessons that refine us, shared to help you confidently lead in your own style. Whether you're looking to steer your team towards success or just seeking a spark of inspiration, you're in the right place. Let's grow through it together. Hey there, I'm Jen Arnold, the host of the Growing Through It podcast. It's been a minute since I've recorded a solo episode, but I wanted to officially close the door on season two. I set out for leaders to share their mess ups, their setbacks, and how it made them better leaders. It turns out people don't actually want to share that stuff. (laughs) Over the season of the podcast, I released 26 total episodes. I went from doing them weekly to every other week, but only 11 were the stories I intended. And thankfully, 11 leaders shared their journey of leadership, their journey of growth and development. And so I am deeply grateful to those humble leaders who are willing to put themselves out there to say, hey, yeah, this happened or I screwed up and here's how I became a better leader. Now, luckily, I also found some people who are willing to step in and talk about different topics that leaders can benefit from, you know, personal branding, what to do if you're a leader who's going to leave your organization for another job, how to onboard new employees, get your team through change successfully, and of course, having better meetings. And I also got to learn about an organization who eliminated performance reviews. And that was a little outside of the norm of what I intended, but I saw that they did it. And it was exciting to me because I've always been intrigued by organizations who challenge the status quo. This one happened to be public sector, the city of Rancho Cucamonga in California. If you haven't listened to that one, that's a very interesting one. And so I started getting a little bit off topic on how I intended. And that was really the number one lesson learned for me in season two, that my vision for the podcast didn't quite match up with reality. Maybe it was the effort I put in trying to find these leadership lessons from people, but you know, that's a lot of people, not (laughs) some people said yes. And then they never answered my second email. That being said, I've already decided I'm coming back for a season three, but what I want to do right now is take a step back and figure out really two things. One is how to bring value. There are a million podcasts out there. There are YouTube videos, there's everything out there to get you the information that you want. So is how am I going to bring value to this podcast? And then selfishly, I'd like to learn. In the past, you know, I had a podcast for five years, the Redesigning Wellness podcast. I really followed my curiosity. I was trying to figure out really about organizational dynamics and how it played into employee well-being. And I was always curious for the next one. And then finally, at the end of five years, when my curiosity was kind of done, I stopped the podcast. So I really want to do that in season three. What am I, again, selfishly, what am I curious about? And then also, how can I bring value? I'm not sure if you've heard this about podcasting, but it's a little bit of a labor of love. And if I'm not curious about a topic, then it's very difficult to keep that motivation up. So as I take a step back and figure out how to bring this value, I already have guests lined up. I'm talking to somebody about how to create constructive dissent. I'm talking to a leader who got promoted to chief people officer, but I knew her uh, at a lower level, trying to figure out her career trajectory and how she ended up where she is. And then this concept of productive accidents. So stay tuned. I'll spend the rest of 2024 getting up and running for season three to start in 2025. And as a listener, I greatly appreciate you listening to the Growing Through It podcast. And I hope you'll join me in season three. Thanks so much. Thank you for joining us on Growing Through It. I'm Jen Arnold, and it's been a pleasure sharing this time with you. If today's story sparks something in you, don't keep it to yourself. Subscribe to our podcast, leave a review, and share it with your fellow leaders. And remember, each episode comes with a nugget of wisdom that we expand on in our newsletter. So if you're eager to put these insights into action, 
head over to our website at growthsignals.co and sign up for exclusive content that'll give you an edge in your leadership journey. Keep growing and I'll connect with you again soon in our next episode. Until then, take the lessons learned and lead authentically. Authentically.